Georgia is voting to decide two Senate seats today, uh, showing how crucial those seats are. Joe Biden and Donald Trump were both in the southern uh, U.S. state on Monday evening. This vote will determine the balance of power in the upper chamber of Congress. Three million early ballots have already been cast. Uh, Kedavan Gorgistani reports from a polling station in Atlanta. The crowd fell short of the one million people organizers expected, but still tens of thousands of protesters descended on the streets of Washington, D.C. from all across uh, the country to express their support for uh, Donald Trump. From regular uh, Trump uh, supporters to uh, white nationalist groups uh, like uh, the Proud Boys, the message was the same. The vote was rigged and Donald Trump won the election. Joe Biden's not the winner. And he'll never, he never will be. You can't steal an election and get away with it here in, the, in America. Uh, I would say dead people voting, uh, Democrats uh, fixing the machines, and, you know, they just, they always, every time the election's over, the Republicans will be winning, but come morning, the Democrats take the lead because they, I believe they stash a lot of uh, votes here and there, and they just bring them out what they need. We love our Trump here. He will win. We will defeat the voter fraud. And life will go on beautifully as it has the last four years. We want peace in this world. We want President Trump back in office. You know, it, it's, it's all right uh, in a democracy to recount uh, a vote. I mean, uh, you know, that, that's, that's the whole point of a democracy. You know, silencing people into just accepting what, uh, you know, the media says, you know, is not, is not the way that you declare president, so. Despite the lack of evidence, and no matter what the courts or the recounts may declare in the future, many protesters say that the only way they'll recognize Joe Biden as president is if Donald Trump himself concedes.